Welcome back. So now that we have downloaded PuTTY, there are still a few more changes that we can do to customize it, and it will be easier for us to work on uh, anytime you're accessing our server. So before you do that, you need to first get the IP address for your server. Let's open up VirtualBox, click on your server, and click on Show. This will open up the console window. Log into your server by typing in the root ID and the password for root. Once you're logged in, type in ifconfig-a pipe grip inet. This will show you the IP addresses for your server. The one that we're interested in is the first one, which starts with 192.168.203.146. That's the IP address for my server. You could have a different IP address based on your machine. So I'm going to make a note of this and move the console window to the right. Now open up PuTTY by double clicking on the application. So the first thing that we are going to change is the default background color and the font color. So go to colors and select default foreground. This will be the color of your font. So click on modify. Right now, it has selected a little grayish color. We're going to click on this arrow and scroll it all the way down until it's completely black. Now click on OK to save your changes. The next color that we are going to change is the background color. Click on default background and click on modify. For the background color, we're going to move this arrow all the way up to white. Once you're done, click on OK. Now go and click on Session. So what we are going to do here is we are going to save the IP address for our server and we'll leave it as a saved session. So next time when we open up PuTTY, we can simply double click on the saved server session and that will load all the settings that we had saved previously. So type in the IP address for your server. In my case, it's 192.168.203.146. Here, I'm going to call it my sent OS version 8 server and click on save. So it saved our server as one of the saved sessions. We can click on open to open the new session to our server. Here, you notice that the background color, it changed from black to completely white and the text was changed from a little grayish color to black. I personally find that this is easier on my eyes to read. You can go ahead and play around more if you want to change it to a different color scheme. Alright, I'm happy with the changes that I've made. I'm going to type in root as a user ID, press enter, and type in the password for root. And hit enter again. Now I'm logged into my server. Let's type uptime. And this will tell you how long the server has been up. In my case, it's been up for 2 hours and 40 minutes. If I go to my console now and type in the same command, it will give me the same output, 2 hours and 40 minutes. Let's go ahead and minimize our console window and go back to our server. Okay, so we are going to open up a new PuTTY session. Let's double click on the PuTTY application icon and double click on the CentOS version 8 server to open up a new session. Type in root for the user ID and your root password. This will log you into the server. In all our previously saved customizations for font and the background, we're still intact. Well, this is it for this lecture. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.